Alright, let's have a look at these uh, differentiation questions. Even though this one is an uh, A-level question, but I think it's as easy as the SPM or IGCSE. So I will just um, discuss this question together with you. Alright, so let's say we have the equation y equals to 2x plus 1 plus 1 over 2x plus 1. Alright, this one is just tell you that um, the x must be bigger than negative 1 over 2. It's a range given here. So a, they ask us to do the first derivative and second derivative, so I will just do the first one first. But before I start to differentiate, I would like to write my um, the 1 over 2x plus 1 into the index form, which is 2x plus 1 power of negative 1. Alright, then only I do the dy dx here. Alright, if I differentiate 2x, it will give me 2, 1 will give me 0. And then this one, I can move the negative 1 to the front, become minus. And then I will copy whatever inside the bracket. And then minus 1, negative 2. Differentiate inside, right at the back here. Multiply, another 2 here. Alright, so then I will get my dy dx easily, which is 2 minus. Alright, this one supposedly is 1 over the whole thing square, right? But there's a 2 here, so I can write 2 on the top over 2x plus 1 power 2. 2. This is what happens when the power is negative 2. So right now I already got my dy dx. But the question also asked me to do the second derivative. That means I need to differentiate this one one more time. But I prefer to use the index form, which is this one. Alright, so then I will just write d2y dx squared. Alright, if I differentiate 2, it will just give me 0. So it's uh, quite easy. Alright, and then the negative 2, I will move to the front. Just now there's a 2 here, isn't it? So multiply with the negative 2. Negative, negative will give you positive. So it should be positive 4 here. And then this one should be 2x plus 1. And then minus 2 will become minus 3. And then differentiate inside again. There's a 2 at the back here, which is multiply. So which is 8 over 2x plus 1 power of 3. Okay, this is second derivative. Then for the part B, they actually ask us to find the coordinate of the stationary point. We know a stationary point means what? Means the dy dx will equal to 0. And we already did the dy dx, so no need to worry. And they ask us to determine the nature of the stationary point. So we know that in order to find a minimum point, the second derivative we must get positive. Remember, smiling face. If you want to get the maximum, the d2y, dx squared, we must get less than 0. So yeah, this one is called nature of stationary point. So you just remember this. All right, so what we want to do is since both are dy dx and the d2y dx squared, both also I have ready. All right, so then I will just use it. All right, my dy dx will be this one. Okay, so let me use a space here. All right, supposedly here should be b, okay? So I just write dy dx equals to zero because I want to find stationary point. So therefore, two, minus, I move to the other side, become positive, right, over uh, 2x plus 1 square. So therefore, 2x plus 1 square will equals to 2 divided by 2 is 1. Then 2x plus 1, I will get positive negative 1 after I square it down. So therefore, um, I, ha I should have a 2 answer. So therefore, x is plus minus 1, and then we, have, we will minus 1 divided by 2. Alright, so you should have the two answer here. The first answer is, if let's say this is positive 1, 1 minus 1, which is 0, so it's 0. Or, if this is negative 1, this one will be negative 2 over 2, which is negative 1. Alright, you need to see carefully the, the, the part B, they want the whole stationary point. They want the coordinates. Coordinate means what? You will need to have x and y, isn't it? So you shouldn't stop there. So you just need to sub this one back into your original equation. So like this one, y should equal to 2 times 0 is 0. So I get 1. And then 1 over 0 plus 1, which is 1 also. 1 plus 1. So y equals to 2. So the first coordinate we have is 0, 2. Then we'll do the same thing here. Or, so if I sub the negative 1 into here, my y should be negative 2 plus 1. Alright, then this is plus... This one is negative 2, so it should get negative 1, so it becomes minus 1 here. So y is negative 2. So second coordinate is negative 1, negative 2. 
Alright, right now we have two stationary points that we have no idea which one is maximum or minimum because no matter maximum or minimum also we will get dy dx equals to zero. So what we want to do is we, we need to use a second directive. So let me use other colors to make you uh, can see it easily. So since I already have the second derivative equation, which is this one, so therefore I will just do d2y dx squared and then I will sub my x value into here. So this one should be um, 0 plus 1 cube. So which is a. And then you realize a will be bigger than 0. Now what, what I say second derivative bigger than 0 means therefore it is minimum. Alright, then we'll do the same thing for negative 1. So d2y dx squared a over. So this one will get negative 2 plus 1 cube. So this one should be negative a. So which is less than zero. Then therefore, uh, you, you can write the whole coordinate if you want. Negative one, negative two is maximum coordinates. All right, so this is how we actually determine its nature. So it's not too bad here. So first thing is you must understand whenever you see stationary points, sometimes they will use turning point or sometimes they will use the extreme point. So basically mean dy dx equal to zero. Remember when you do dy dx equal to zero, it doesn't mean minimum or maximum. It can be uh, it, it can be both. All right, so therefore what we want to do is we need to do the second derivative to determine whether it is maximum or minimum based on, F, based on the x value we sub into it. It's like this one. If I sub into it, I got positive value. That means it is minimum. If I got negative value, which is less than zero, we will get maximum. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.